What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Netflix's new reality competition series, School of Chocolate. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. Netflix has a ton of cooking competition shows, so many to choose from. Not all of them are great, not all of them are creative and original, but many of them are at the very least amusing. Now, this latest one has a special place in my heart because I love, love, love chocolate. When I die, I want my coffin to be made of chocolate, preferably almond milk flavor, nothing minty. Okay, back to the show. School of Chocolate is worth watching because of the mind-blowing artistry of creating illusion using chocolate and other pastry ingredients. The wonderful stuff that these chefs come up with are inventive, but the challenges on each episode are not easy. Ah, this show is so eye-catching and irresistible and mouth-watering. I can watch School of Chocolate all day, every day, without the risk of gaining weight. Executive produced by Adam Cohen and Kara Tapper in School of Chocolate, eight top pastry and chocolate professionals are coming to School of Chocolate to take their skills and careers to the next level. Their teacher is world-renowned chocolatier Amari Gutchen, known globally for creating mind-blowing chocolate showpieces and unbelievable pastries. One lucky student who manages to prove themselves best in class after eight episodes will win a prize package that includes a career-changing opportunity. So yeah, there are a total of eight episodes. Each runs about 45 minutes long. So it's gonna take a bit of while for you to finish binge-watching the whole thing. The host slash judge Amari Gushan has about 4 million followers on Instagram. Good God, man. I wish I had 4 million Instagram followers. You can tell my envy is showing. But Amari has gained that much fandom, deservingly so, because he is the best at what he does. Now, an argument can be made that as a host, he may be a little bit too nice. Don't get me wrong, he's brutally honest, but he's also a walking positivity. Say what you want about Gordon Ramsay, he's a total dick. But his tough love makes for exciting drama, viral soundbite, and internet memes. I just don't see that happening with Amari's style of mentorship. The format is quite simple. On each episode, there are two segments of the task. The contestants have to create their pastries according to those tasks. And by the end of it, Chef Amari will pick the top two and the bottom two. So these decisions can mess with their heads a little bit. It can create animosity and resentment between them, especially when there's jealousy and favoritism. But even if that drama doesn't appeal to you, and I don't blame you, the tasks themselves are sufficient enough to make you want to drool as you go, ooh, ah, wow. We Honest to God, I didn't even know that you could manipulate chocolate into bending or shaping the way it's done on this show. I mean, it is incredible. I guess you learn something new every day. This makes me want to hire any one of them for my birthday party because a regular Black Forest cake just doesn't cut it anymore. I want a chocolate-made Fender guitar that I can bite into. In conclusion, if you have time to spare, School of Chocolate is definitely a fun, enjoyable content as you relax and unwind after a long, hard day.